Hello and thank you for tuning in. I am John RMS, otherwise known as uh, Ace Bullion. And today I have another video which is brought to you by the Silver Trader. He has sent me in a coin to be reviewed. Now, of course, you can see in the title, it's the Bald Eagle, and I'm actually quite excited. Now, I said a coin, so you do notice that there's two others. Hmm, clearly I'm a, a fan of the series. But without prejudice and without further ado, we're going to crack in and have a look. And if you haven't already uh, noticed, yes, the background has changed. I'm trying something new out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get rid of these two for the moment and put them off to the side because I'll be uh, dealing with that a bit later. And we're also going to dawn onto the gloves and zoom in a little bit and see what this coin has to offer. So I've already taken the liberty of removing the capsule ever so slightly and I do got my cotton gloves on. Now, as I said, this is the Bald Eagle, which is otherwise known as the um, World Wildlife Series. And well, it's kind of pointless having the gloves on if I'm not gonna use them, right? So let's carefully take this out and we can examine that, shall we? Okay. So, um, as I was saying, this is the World Wildlife Series, one ounce of silver. It's made by uh, Geiger Mint in Germany. Uh, one of the things, by the way, I will be trying to resolve is the lighting issue, because I think that that will have much more of a bearing on things, you know, in the future. So we shall see. Um, it has a mintage of 30,000, as do all the previous versions. And it also comes uh, in one ounce of silver. That's no, right. Obviously, this is one ounce of silver. My apologies. One ounce of gold. Um, and those are limited to just a thousand. Um, I can tell you, if you do want a gold version, uh, check out SD Bullion in America. Um, I think they only have about 65 left at the time of shooting this video. So, good luck. Uh, now, the first one in the series was a giraffe followed by a whale. Uh, so, it started off in 2019. Uh, and then 2020 was the whale. And this is 2021. And here we have the, well, you'll see in a sec. Uh, it's going to be the eagle. Now, if I do this very carefully and slowly, you're going to see Justice Pax Travail. And, well, <laughs> as I've learned many times before, and thank you to my viewers, it means justice, peace, and labor. Now, you're always going to see on every single coin, they've kept it the same on the back. Uh, you'll see the spear on the right-hand side. And you'll see the tusk on the left. You'll also see the one ounce uh, silver down below right here. Uh, followed by four nines. You also have the denomination here of coin, which is 20 francs. And it's from the Republic uh, Democrat of Congo. And we have 20 and then 21, indicating 2021. So, and by the way, there is still the leopard there. Love it. It does have a reeded edge. And this, by the way, is something I'm trying out as well, is, you know, pulling things out of the capsules. And again, even through a cotton glove. Here we go. So, as you can see there, and saw my little head popping up, uh, it's a really reflective coin. I love the mirror finish. We have the bald eagle up in the top corner. Uh, and then of course you have the eagle soaring through the skies over the mountaintops and just really, really beautiful, I think. Uh, it's quite majestic looking. And look at all the detail on the wings and actually on the bird itself. Hmm. Now, we also have at the very bottom, it says World Wildlife. And then again, you have the whole North America continent down below, uh, along with Alaska. 
and I really do like it. I'm trying to keep this as much as I can in focus without you know damaging anything. Well, let's put this back in the capsule for a second, just on the base side of the capsule, so this way I can actually take off a glove and show you without having to touch things, and I can move things in and out much better. Here we go. I really need three hands for this job. Look at the wing in detail here. And as I said, this is truly a remarkable coin in my opinion. And it's not just because I'm collecting the series, um, but I have noticed that the gold versions and the silver versions have actually been selling out very, very quickly. In fact, uh, as I said, uh, or I may mean, not have said actually, I meant to say, there's only 30,000 minted. And that is a lot. And for them to sell out of 30,000 um, is a spectacular feat, in my opinion. Um, not just because, you know, it seems a high number, which it, it, you know, it is in collector's terms. But the fact that, you know, consistency with these is really, really nice. And it's something that I think is really superb. Um, and as I said, I can't really fault them. I take a look and with the camera off or with the capsule off, you're going to see every tiny little minute detail, which does include, if I take this over just ever so slightly, um, just from handling it with cotton gloves, it picks up little, I think little specks. I'm not quite sure. It's nothing on the coin. There's no, um, milking or damage and, and actually that's quite surprising with it being you know a geiger product quite honestly even though they're listed as one of the best mints and everything else most geigers that i've ever owned tend to milk up and spot like crazy uh, the designs are beautiful and you know usually executed to a really high standard but of course milking is always an issue whenever you're buying a geiger product it's a gamble. So with that being said, I'm going to capsulate this thing because the less time it spends in the air, the less time it has to, of course, um, milk up on me because this one here is not going to be sent back to the silver trader. In fact, no, I'm going to be keeping this one for myself and uh, that should be pretty dang interesting. Um, and I say keeping it. No, I'm actually going to be buying it, of course, from him. So just to kind of show you the other series or the other coins in the series uh, as i said we started off with the giraffe and i have done a review on this this was back as you can see here in 2019 the same exact rear design and i've pulled this out of my vault just to make sure um, it was only because i realized when i was on my live stream that i did have these actually in stock um, I say in stock, in my collection, um, that, uh, of course, well, I was doing a review, so might as well show them. And then, of course, I have the 2020 whale, which is, let's just focus on this a little bit more here, which, again, is really beautiful, leaping out. You can see all the little droplets of water. I was really impressed with this, again, when I was on, uh, when I done the review, and uh, there you go. This is why I just have a hot hand. I have no idea. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see here 2020. And again, everything is identical. No milk spotting, you know, dare I say yet on any of these coins. Uh, it is a matter of time, uh, perhaps, or just making sure that I keep them and I don't have my grubby paws on them. Uh, that might help, really. So... What's your opinion? What's your thoughts? What's your views, please? Uh, this here is the bald eagle or, well, it's a new eagle for the 2021 um, World Wildlife Series. It is one ounce of silver. Um, my personal view is yes, absolutely. It does remind me of the Canadian coin, which was the uh, a peregrine or something like that. It's a very similar kind of style, but it has a lot more detail. And to me, it really does speak 
I don't know. It, it's it looks as if it's a, a picture that's been captured where the bird is actually in flight rather than just a bird stuck and superimposed with backgrounds. Uh, so well done to the designer on that. Uh, I applaud you and also for getting all of those feathers in. Wow. Um, so, and let me know what you think of the new setup, everyone. As I said, I am still working on the lighting. I wanted to know about the background, if having the coin outside of the capsule made any difference whatsoever. Um, and, you know, I was really trying to slow everything down as well. So tell me what differences you may have spotted with the coin review. Uh, any criticism, you know, constructively uh, is welcome. So... Thank you again. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one and have a great day. Bye for now.